What made you want to buy the farm? Hmm, that's a story about itself. Yeah? Yeah. We had a 15 year mortgage on that place. We bought it in June of 55. August the 1st of 55, we went on strike. We was on strike for five months, almost Christmas time. At Bauer Brothers? Yeah. And after the first couple of months, I couldn't make a payment. I went down and I said, I can't make a payment while I'm on strike. She said, well, you got to pay the interest. The interest was $23, I think, or something like that. So I scrounged around and got the $23, and I paid them every time. But when, I, when we went back to work, we worked overtime. I worked 16 hours, five days in a row. And every dime at the end of the month, every dime I had, paid on the house. Paid it off in five years. So Mom called the real estate guy and said, we want to get us a different house. So he started looking for us a different house. We looked at houses all over, all around. Finally, the real estate guy says, so. man, you, I got a farm I'd like to show you. About three miles right over there. He said, one of these days, you ain't going to be able to buy a farm. Well, them days, you couldn't sell a farm, Hardy. You couldn't get the son of a way. Nobody wanted one. So I was looking in the paper, and that one was in the paper, and this one was in the paper, add in the paper. I thought, well, this one's better than that one. So I, the next day after work, I just went out to his office. I went in, and I says, I'd like to buy that farm out there. He said, you can't buy that farm. I said, how the hell you know I can't buy that farm? I said, you go down to the bank and ask if I can buy the farm or not. Next day, here he comes, the briefcase on your arm. After I got home from work, he come up to the house. He said, the bank said you could have it. That's how we bought it. <laughs> you know what everybody said? What's that? You're crazy. What's that? Buying this farm. That's crazy. Hell, they said, everybody said, hell, you can't pay that. Well, meantime, these two old guys, That one old, they was brothers. That one old brother, he says, uh, don't pay no attention to them people. You can get that farm, get it. As long as you can hold on to it, just get it and hold on to it. Well, didn't he, didn't he know something about he's talking about? Look what it's worth now. You know what I gave for it? Mm-hmm. $44,000. Wow. You know what the guy that sold us this farm went? He went down in Terracella Manor. You don't know where that is, do you? It's on the north side of Springfield, right out of town there. He went on Thompson Trail and bought a house. I seen it every time. I seen it in the paper where he bought the house in the legal notices. For about seventy or eighty thousand dollars for that house. I bet you that house now ain't worth two hundred thousand dollars. Well hell he's dead, he's been dead for years. What was his name? Compton. Compton. His son was 16. Compton still, they had Compton mower, lawn mower, and that sales place. That was his son. We come out here one day and there wasn't nobody here, I guess, and he got one of the kids' bicycle and rode it off up the road. You remember that? I wasn't born yet. No, you wasn't born yet. <laughs> you couldn't remember that. <laughs> it must have been Mike's bicycle. And we couldn't find it no place. We didn't know where it was. But somebody seen it at night up there. The light hit it. it he throwed it over the fence into the weeds and the light hit it. And they found it was a bicycle. Somebody told us a bicycle was laying up there in the field. Well, somebody went up and got it. Must have been Mom or Mike or one of them. I can't remember getting it. He was about 16. Well, he grew up and started a business. So the moral of that story is, if you can't buy your farm, 